with me here, I have a buffalo drum. Now this drum was a store-bought drum. I didn't make it from scratch and there was no ceremony at first in place when I got it. So I had this drum for many years and before I actually really connected to it because I didn't know how to connect to a store-bought drum. And someone gave me this tip and it worked like a charm and I'm going to share that with you today. So if you do buy one of these remote drums and you want to connect to it, there's something that you can do um, to, to actually connect to it. Now this drum was made by a guy in the cave. And then I did a, a ritual and a ceremony by myself to connect to this drum. Now this is a goat skin and it's a beautiful, beautiful sound. I can't play it now because my phone quality is obviously not that great, but um, this drum has a very beautiful spirit and I'm very grateful for the animal that plays with me and it's close to my heart. So that is how I connected with this drum and how we made it. Um, then I have another drum. With me here, I have a buffalo drum. Now this drum was a store-bought drum. I didn't make it from scratch and there was no ceremony at first in place when I got it. So I had this drum for many years and before I actually really connected to it because I didn't know how to connect to a store-bought drum. And someone gave me this tip and it worked like a charm and I'm going to share that with you today. So if you do buy one of these remote drums and you want to connect to it, there's something that you can do um, to, to actually connect to it. And I can share it with you now. I'm not going to play the drum because it will sound terrible on my phone and we're just going to actually use the drum and show you how to connect to yours. And what you can do is you take the drum in your hands or in your arms like this and you connect it to your heart. Now you can do it this way or you can turn it around, whichever way feels best for you. For me, I feel better if I do it this way around. And you really you close your eyes and you hold your drum. <sighs> take a few deep breaths in and connect to the energy of the drum. You just give it some time, you just hold it and you connect it and you won't believe that's so easy and so simple but that is one way that you can connect your drum and it will make such a big difference. You will hear it immediately. The other place you can hold it is on your belly and you connect to the drum by holding it on your tummy and again you can hold it, you can hug it and you just really connect to this energy of your drum, you can give it a little bit of a rub, you can swing a bit, you know, just really feel into the spirit of the animal that's in the drum. Yeah, and then the last place you can hold it is close to your groin, your genitals, and the reason is because you can hold it close to your womb and connect your genitals with your drum. And it will all three of those places, so you just hold it, connect, and you'll feel a different vibration and a different energy when you play. So it really is such a simple way to do it, but it works like a charm. And I'd like you to try it and tell me how it worked. Now, I know there are many other ways that people actually uh, connect and activate their drums. I'm not saying that any of those are not working. All I'm saying is that this is the way that I connect to my storeboard drum. And it's, it's been years that I've been struggling to connect to it. And somebody gave me this information and it makes a big, big difference. So try it out and let me know. You can also do it with your um, ritual drum that you've made, that you've part participated in making. And you, you take the drum, acknowledge it, and you hold it to your heart. You know, you just hold it to your heart. Just give it some love. <laughs> it's interesting the two drums that I have, their energies are so different. Now the buffalo drum, which doesn't have a name yet, um, this one has a name, but I'm not sure yet if I want to share it on a public platform. I'm kind of private about it. Um, <laughs> this drum has got a very interesting spirit to it. It's, it's actually also 
it's got a, a like a sense of humor <laughs> it loves to participate in ceremonies and to journey so yeah so that's my drum share for today i hope you enjoy that